You know, now on bounds, Johnson C. Smith University back in the spotlight this month. The school's political science department is hosting a community discussion for Black History Month. We have Dr. Latanya Williams, an assistant professor of poli sci here, to invite you to join the talks. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you it's for inviting us. Absolutely. It's nice to have you here on the show tonight. Uh, what's the topic for the community com uh, discussion? So we're hosting a book talk on Melanie Price, a uni uh, Rutgers University professor um, who authored a book called The Race Whisperer. Mm. And essentially this book um, details the ways in which Barack Obama uses race uh, to motivate uh, voters, both black and white, to support his candidacies and also his administrations. But she also talks about the particular ways in which uh, Barack Obama in some ways failed uh, to uh, work towards uh, resolving some of the issues of concern to black communities. So this is a really, I think, important and timely book mm -hmm. uh, given uh, the end of his administration and as scholars, observers, and people interested, just everyday folks interested in President Obama begin to interrogate his legacy, but also I think, um, more interestingly enough, to begin to compare and contrast um, the presidency of uh, Barack Obama and the new president, the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. And the political climate and how everyone is feeling, this would be a good way to have a constructive discussion. Sure. Sure. Would you say? I think it's a great opportunity uh, to have conversations that are oftentimes very difficult. Barack Obama, in many ways, was able to talk about race in which, in ways that I think, um, put put white voters at ease, um, as well as African American voters. But he used different language to talk to both. Mm. And I think one of the things that I find particularly uh, invaluable about uh, Dr. Price's interpretation, um, and I'd call her the Obama interpreter. So I would encourage people to buy her book and when she comes we'll be offering sharing her book yeah. um, and she'll be signing books so we want uh, folks to uh, take a look before uh, the talk but she talks about many of the ways I think that Obama uses uh, racialized stereotypes to talk about black people to black people um, in ways in which he didn't intimate in the same ways when he talked to white voters. Mm -hmm. So those same racial stereotypical tropes oftentimes conferred to black voters or black people in general. Um, he used them in ways in which uh, uh, if a white uh, president or a uh, white politician had articulated, we would have uh, been very critical. So she also has a very critical assessment of the mm -hmm. legacy. So this gives us an opportunity to really, I think, constructively look at his legacy and also think about what that means moving forward. Before we give out the information, quickly, uh, let's talk about your work in the political science department. Sure. So I'm very fortunate to work in a political science program where um, all the faculty, at one point we were looking for a new member of our department, were all women, women of color, mm. um, women who were uh, immigrants, women who have um, had transnational experience. So we're a very diverse department. We have a diverse set of students, um, uh, student international students, uh, African American students, Latino students. Mm -hmm. We have, a, I think, one of the... Uh, uh, a program which is really ded dedicated to cultivating an experience for our students based on what their interests are. So our curriculum is adaptive um, based on the interests of our students. So we're really excited about the opportunity um, to invite the broader Charlotte area community to the campus, mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, Duke Memorial Library for this event on February uh, 28th, the last day of Black History Month. But as we say at Johnson C. Smith, every day is Black History Month. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put up this information. The book talk with Dr. Melanie Price, Tuesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. February 28th? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it is at Duke <laughs> Memorial Library that is located at 100 Beatty's Ford Road in Charlotte. The discussion is free mm -hmm. and open to the public. We put all of this information on WBTV.com. All you have to do is look in the Web Extra section. It is right there on the home page. Um, thank you so much we for being here it. tonight and for sharing um, some of Dr. Price's uh, perspective and also about the great work that you guys are doing in the Poli Sci Department. Really excited. Thank you. thank you for having us. Absolutely. Delano? Time to get back.